When people ask us about uh, place branding, um, they go, oh, uh, d does, does a town really need a logo? Um, and our response typically is, well, not necessarily. A brand is important for cities and places in that um, they are corporations. The only difference is that their shareholders are citizens and taxpayers. Important in terms of creating an identity uh, so that the citizens can feel proud and, and become sort of brand champions and, and feel pride of place. So, you know, the logo is just one, one aspect of that. Uh, we're really talking about the, the overarching communications. Hi, I'm Rod Rodenberg. And I'm David Coates. And we're partners in Ion Brand Design. And this is Design to Speak. What we're doing here is not just about uh, place branding in the context of tourism, it's, it's really about some other principles as well and um, other economic drivers. So when we think about what creates a brand for a city, it's the perceptions that people have to be sure, but it's also really what's in place there. A place brand really needs to appeal to potential new residents. It needs to really consider uh, where the city's going in terms of growth and, and not just you know visual development, but also in terms of, of physical development and, and density, all those things play into a place branding effort. It's not just the superficial trappings of, of what that city may look like on a website or uh, how great their logo is. It's really about how do people interact with that community and are the pieces in play within that town that uh, enable a community to foster and, and to grow and, and to be sustained over the long term. In the private sector, you have a corporation which is, is pretty focused on its mission and vision. In place branding, you have the added layer of regularly changing civic leaders and things like that and so part of the challenge is to get beyond what they like and into what's appropriate. Your logo is not your brand. Your logo is a component of it and albeit an important one, it, it's not the end all and be all. It's really how it all fits together, how, how that one element comes into play with all the other elements that comprise your brand. It's really a difficult challenge because people always talk about, okay, well, I don't like that color or I don't like this iconic treatment. What, whatever it is, the, the discussion needs to be a, a broader one. When building a, a place brand, I think consensus is essential. When we do our civic engagement, we're always amazed to, to see groups of people who may be at odds at the beginning come together when they're able to have input in the process. We're talking to citizens, we're talking to the fire chief, we're talking to police, anybody who's within that organization or outside of that organization, they all need to be at the table so that we can reflect that, that true brand authenticity. When you are all on the same page and you've engaged your stakeholders properly, everyone knows what the real task is and what you're, you're there to do. What we find if we involve them in the process is that they really uh, come together as a team and as a community and it's a fascinating process and uh, it's really what drives us to do civic branding is that process that we see a community really coming together and, and rallying behind a brand. We implement that strategy to be sure but on the craft side it's important that the art of what we do comes through and that and the art is the component that really connects with people at the end of the day. We try to get into the minutiae and, and the history of an organization or, or a place and really try to come to grips and, and engage people at a, at a personal level. You know, at the end of the day, if you don't do that, I think you're missing a, a huge opportunity and people aren't going to necessarily uh, resonate with what you're doing or your, your work isn't going to resonate with them.